love is it that a majority of students have beautiful plans for the future, yet are constantly on a detoured path in achieving their goals. The students I see in my high school are all success bound. The only real difference is how success is interpreted by each individual. First off, thank you for joining Mr. Matsuda. First question, so in terms of A through G compliance, what do you feel are some of the barriers that we face in our district and what are some steps to overcome this or what are some of the policies the district has put into place to help students thrive academically? Okay, so A through G in Anaheim Union High School District is a big challenge. We're about 39% as opposed to Orange County being close to 50%. And there are some schools like Anaheim High School that we are concerned about because our numbers have gone down a little bit. This is a big problem, uh, a big barrier to getting more kids college ready. So um, I think a lot of staff development on challenges of, of being in poverty, being an English learner, being an immigrant or a refugee are, uh, are, are big challenges for, uh, for an urban district like Anaheim Union. So I came to this country when I was six years old and I was supposed to go into the second grade, but since I didn't know the language, I was back down to first grade. It was hard for me then because my parents didn't know the language, obviously, and I was the oldest. So when I started school, I would get homework, and the only way I was able to get through it was with the bilingual dictionary. So every single word I had to look, or my parents helped me look it up, and then we would translate it to Spanish until we can, until we were able to like translate everything. So then, um, first grade was just hard, very very hard. Third grade was the year that I, you know, I started learning the language. I was able to speak it with, you know, my peers, my teachers. It was like fresh. First, second, and third grade were the toughest ones because that's when I was starting to learn. When I, that's when I was introduced to the language. Um, fourth grade was when I was like, yeah, I know how to really speak it and talk and read. And then afterwards, 10th grade, I started taking honors class which was English and I mostly did it because I knew I needed to improve my English. I remember when I was getting my hair cut not too long ago and like that's what the barber went first to first was uh, oh you know what, what do you like about your school because you know my daughter's gonna be going into a uh, uh, high school and immediately uh, I asked him, is, is your daughter gonna be going to the Anaheim school district and he said yes and he's, I asked is she gonna be going to Anaheim high school and she, uh, he said maybe um, so I let her, I let him know that, uh, her, like, just like me, her daughter's going to be introduced into an environment where really wherever the, whatever the student's passion may be, uh, he or she's going to find an outlet. In my experience, Anaheim's always been this inclusive environment where um, it's nothing stopping you from being an AP student, an honor student, uh, being part of the chess club, uh, going to the robotics uh, team meetings, anything like that. So, like, um, however, whatever the uh, student may want. Uh, to see in their school whatever the student may want, uh, their passion or how, you know, to see their environment reflect their passion, I feel like they're going to find that in Anaheim. So Dr. Jose Moreno, as a college professor, tell me um, some of the things that you see your students struggling the most with. Transition. They struggle a lot with transition. They are uh, often the first in their family to, to go to college. They're balancing um, the transition of the academics, uh, independence in the academics, 
family life, work life, because a lot of them work to put themselves through school or to help their families. Um, so they, so that's a struggle. Most of them commute um, from home, and many of them it's a pretty healthy commute of half an hour each way, um, sometimes an hour. Uh, but a lot of the students are responsible for their siblings or for a grandparent and so their parents are working and so they're part of the responsibility of the household. So, so I think the campus tries to do as much as it can, but um, the resources are very limited. Really? So remember, I was struggling, and like I was doing good, and I was struggling, and I wasn't, I wasn't really showing the potential I have and the confidence I have. I was like very blessed with all the help with tutoring, with college, and like knowing where I'm going to go and taking the right classes and going for me to take the right steps. I, I met a lot of new friends. You meet so many people that you never knew had the same ambitions and the same future as you. So I think that opened my mind a little bit. Um, generally, when I think about Anaheim, it's, um, well, of course, I'll just go back to uh, before I went into Anaheim. Uh, I started hearing things about um, its its trademark name, uh, not Anaheim, but Anacrime, and this this was pr a pretty intimidating, you know, nickname for a school. As soon as I got there, I mean, it was completely different. It's not exactly what you expect it to be, Anacrime. Uh, it was it was Anaheim High School, and. Sure, at times you might um, come with, um, come across someone that might look intimidating. You know, having that that gangster vibe, I like to say. But um, I mean, once you get get to know them, they're not that bad. They're, I mean, it all comes back to to my idea that they're everyone's a person, no matter what. A large percentage of the students at Anaheim being Hispanic, that doesn't mean that we're all the same. We all have different backgrounds, but um, we still have that that way of coming together as, as, as colonists. Uh, I'm involved in Anaheim High School wrestling and I'm also involved in Anaheim High School photo club. I am the chairman of the union. I'm um, part of photo, wrestling, and D club. I think we're all a long time ago. Part of wrestling here? I already signed up to join the Army. The Army? Yeah. Oh, yeah, the Army Rangers. Oh, okay. What do you like about the Army that made you want to join? I don't know. I just wanted to. Oh. Just because? Yeah. I went. I'm actually joining the Air Force too, but I, I like piloting. Well, we actually went to a meeting. We're not, we're not, we're we're not, we're not, we went to a meeting about Marines because we were actually going to join and yeah. they said I'm too fat so I had to leave. What keeps me going is always picturing my family with a new house, with a new car and seeing that my family can live a better life because I was always motivated to give them a better life. Me seeing my parents struggle growing up. Uh, my dad, he always had more than one job. We just still needed the money because you know that's what that's like one of the important things you need in life, money. Even though people say, oh, money doesn't give you happiness. Like, yeah, they're wrong. Like money helps with happiness, but you you need it to survive. My name is Tucker Shokir. I'm a junior at Anaheim High School, and I am homeless. The reason that I've received so much help is because I'm, I'm not afraid to tell people who can help. Recently, with, with all the stuff that, that's been going on, I've put a lot of thought into it, and the short answer is hope. <laughs>